Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to week three. Now last week was pretty wild and our co-host Nikki Monique is no longer with us because she was a little too crazy for money. Now, romances formed, fights broke out and the competition got a lot tougher leaving Cookie and Shelly in the bottom two. Shelly, you really choked last week and I mean literally, you really choked. Your performance was pretty bad. Why do you think the fans should have saved you? They should save me because everyone was doing great during that performance and if no one choked, we would have been there all day eating disgusting food. So in a way, I think I saved everyone from having a bad tummy ache like I experienced. Cookie, you were in the top two in last week's episode, but things quickly changed as the contestants whipped through their tasks and even though you had an advantage, you struggled. Why do you think you should be saved? Well, because I proved myself. Uh, I actually don't think I should have been in the bottom. It should have been Cash Mac. If you try to do the challenge and you fail, well, then you should have been put in the bottom. I used my advantage to my advantage, so it should have helped me. Touche, Mama. I agree. I agree. <clears throat> yeah, well, that didn't happen, so I don't care. You choked, like, <laughs> just like Jordo said. You're, You're in the bottom and I'm not, so... I was in the top. You should have been in the bottom in this one. You were just lucky. It's all right, babe. You're it's getting? a series of unfortunate events. I was in the top with you, too. <laughs> yeah, I know. In this one, you should have been in the bottom. Well, the votes have been tallied. The audience has made their decision. And the person going home is... Cookie, I'm sorry to say this, but you're gonna have to stick around a little bit longer with us. You are safe. Oh, my chest. Shelly, I'm, dying. I'm okay. sorry to say, but you have been eliminated from the competition. Please dispose of your frame. I love your frame. Not so lovely anymore. Thank you. Thank you. Screw all y'all. <laughs> Well, bye. <laughs> I was glad Shelly went home because she's just so extra, so weird, so out there, so unnecessary really, so I'm glad Shelly went home. And Cookie, she's whatever. I'm right where I should be, and she's where she should be. It was upsetting, but if anyone's going to come between me and Cookie, uh, that's a problem, so I'm happy Cookie stayed for sure. Where to go wrong? is that I was born with taste buds, you know? That food was really, really bad, but you know, it's what happened. They say I'm out there too eccentric and outgoing. I think they're all robots showing no emotions. It's boring. Though, I'll keep on smiling, no cash put in pocket. I think I hear something. My people need me. Off I go like a rocket. Congratulations everyone for making it to week three. Now time surely does fly when you're having fun. We put you through some public pranks and had you eat some pretty awful foods. Now Wise and Bree, the two of you shocked everyone last week. You went from the bottom to the top and that is pretty impressive I must say. Is there some kind of secret? It was strategic, we did that on purpose. And the reasons will be clear when we get the money because we're getting the money. Three? Well, in eating the food, it was just mental strategy for me. I just soldiered it out. I knew I had to get it, so I did it. Now, Wise and Bree, you will face an advantage at some point in this episode. And Cash Mac, I gotta ask you, do you still think you stand uh, any chance with Bree, huh? Ask Bree. Like, I think I do. I think I do. I mean, this is crazy for money, not crazy for love. I'm not really worried about that. Oh. <laughs> sorry. It's just. She may be Beyonce, but you ain't Jay-Z, boo, so yeah. Buddy, just, just... Okay. Jordo, you and Cash Mac really seem to be on each other's nerves in the last episode. Where do you think your relationship stands right now? Is there a last chance for a bromance, or 
Do you guys just uh, not like each other anymore? Bro, he has this no chance. He has no chance. Guys, shut your mouth, bro. You have no chance. You're never gonna be my friend. I can tell he wants to be my friend. Oh, you know? I'm I can tell. Oh my I can god. Tell. The only reason why I would be your friend is because I would need my community service hours just to hang out with your ass because I'm laughing on those. But you know what? You're nothing. I don't need your your friendship. I don't need your title of what you don't have because it's so pussy. I'm trying to scrub! Like, don't <laughs> friggin' think I'm gonna cut to here. <laughs> Zip your lip. Okay, okay guys, I, I think these two have something going on. He's talking about how he's on the top, and I, he looks like a bottom. Pretty sure oh, something's yes. going on. I, don't know. I, don't know. I think me and Jordo are gonna stick it out for the end. This is, this is, see, see, this is the order. I mean, those this people who know what I said, they this, know what yeah, I mean. Guys, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Well, everyone, this week's theme is trivia. But this ain't no Jeopardy. On Crazy For Money, we like to spice things up to the next level, as you already know. Let's just say, things are gonna get messy, and some clothing is gonna come off. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. I am getting so hot, I'm gonna, okay, you guys get the idea? Let's get right into it. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Let's do this. This week's first task will test contestants' knowledge of each other. Contestants will be asked questions. They have three options to choose from. If they get it right, great. But if they get it wrong, they have to take off a piece of clothing. And the two contestants that remain with the most clothes on will take away victory on this task. All right, everyone, I'm gonna ask you a question about a contestant. You must choose either A, B, or C. And you have five seconds to make up your mind. I was slightly worried. Like, I might not be the brightest bulb, but that's, that's probably why I was a little worried. They don't call me wise for nothing. Of course, I felt really confident about trivia because, you know, I'm wise. I was a little nervous because I didn't know what to expect with the whole trivia, especially with the, the clothes removal part. <laughs> Bree and Wise, you have an advantage in this week's episode. So before we even begin, you get to choose one contestant each to take off two pieces of clothing already, even before we get started. Nah. That's, that's, are you kidding? That's me? that's shit. Like you guys know, I love you, right? Like they know each other and they still get an advantage for trivia. Well, we have to. Like we yeah, won last week. But what kind of advantage is that? Week. Then we pretty much lose if we're down like two items. Right. Like, well, you lost last week. That's not my problem. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Oh well. But anyway, right, I remember that. Okay. Not too worried, okay. anyways. But I'm gonna do Jordo a favor and I'm gonna have Cash back remove two pieces of clothing. You just want to see me with my clothes off, bro. I felt like I didn't really need that advantage, to be honest. If I could turn back time, I'd probably donate it to Cash Mac, because clearly he needs it. Okay, it's nothing personal, but I'm going to have to pay Jordo. I'm sorry. <laughs> now you're both happy. <laughs> First question, what is Cashback's favorite body part? Is it A, booty, B, ears, or C, arms? And the correct answer was A, booty. Now if you got that question wrong, you gotta take off one piece of clothing. Karma's a bitch, isn't it? Shut up. Next question. What is Bree's number one song playing on her iPod? Is it A, Beyonce Drunken Love, B, Let It Be by The Beatles, or C, Drake, Who Do You Love? And the correct answer was B, Let It Be by The Beatles. Okay, buddy. Next question. If Wise could throw any type of party, what kind would it be? Would it be A, unlimited food, B, quiet people only, or C, all Asians? And the correct answer was A, unlimited food. Great, you guys all got that answer correct so you don't have to take off a piece of clothing. Next question, what is a bad habit of cookies? Is it A, spending too much money, B, smoking, or C, playing with her hair? And the correct answer was A, spending too much money. Oh my God. 
Did you have a wet spot? There's nothing super about that. Jordo, I thought you'd like that. Uh, it's your view. <laughs> you know, make a wise choice. Oh god, I don't need to be next to that. Yeah, yeah. Nothing super about like that. Like if you got something to show, then you wear this. But if you don't, then you have it. That was risky. I'd say, geez, I, I took off all my clothes there. I was, you know, in my, uh, in my Superman boxers. Like I, I just didn't give a fuck. Next question. If Jordo could visit any country in the world, where would he want to go? A, Greece, B, Germany, or C, Guatemala? And the correct answer was A, Greece. So, whoever got it wrong, take off another piece of clothing. What? So I'm out. So unfortunately, it looks like Cash Mac is the first person out. I think everyone did a lot worse than me. Next question. What is Cash Mac's biggest fear? Is it A, embarrassment, B, his chains getting tangled, or C, not knowing what to rap about? And the correct answer is A, embarrassment. So if you got that wrong, another piece of clothing comes off. You guys want to play hard with your confusing answers? Butterflies off. Oh damn, your mother blessed you with some amazing curves. You need girl. to wash your mouth. Don't Ooh, you're you're so disgusting. Like. Cash Mike is still hitting on me. Like I said before, this is crazy for money, not for love, so he can fall back. Bree, Bree, Bree. She looked hot today, damn. Like, the, the weather was really hot too. And so, like, she was, she was wearing that skirt, like, with the slits in it. Anyways, she, was, she looked hot. But, they're trying to, like, get at me on, like, some, some, like, perverted level. Like, they're crazy. Just because I'm looking at Brie, because she took her shirt off. It's not like I'm shoving my, it's not like I'm motorboating her titties, which I did think about doing. I just think, like, it's, Getting kind of old. I mean, isn't it obvious that she doesn't want to be with him or just anything to do with him? But then again, like, he's kind of like that guy from Jersey Shore that just doesn't stop until he gets what he wants. But guess what? He's going to have to keep going, going, and have to go through probably a thousand more breeze to just be able to get satisfaction because it's not going to work. What is one word that describes cookie? Is it A, a gooey cookie, B, crazy, or C, wild? These two are cheating. And the correct answer was B, crazy. So if you got that wrong, you gotta take off another item of clothing. So why now? All right, next question. What is Jordo's number one song playing on his iPod? Is it A, Bit by Bit by Mother Mother? B, Lady Gaga Applause? Or C, Rihanna Diamonds? And the correct answer is A, Bit by Bit by Mother Mother. So if you got that wrong, another piece of clothing comes off. Shit. <laughs> it looks like we're all leaving. Oh, okay, hang on, let me fix myself, because um, I don't know what's bubble up and up in there. Bubble up, bubble up. Oh! <laughs> cookies, cookies are out to cook. With the first task of taking off the clothes and everything, it, it, was, it was awkward, because I've never done something like that before. So it was just... I don't know, I felt kind of slutty. <laughs> Next question. If Cookie could visit any country in the world, where would she want to go? A, Hawaii, B, the Bahamas, or C, Jamaica? And the correct answer is A, Hawaii. So if you got that wrong, you gotta take another piece Fucking of clothing bullshit. off. I'm done with this shit, guys. Fuck this. Like, well, then just sign the check over here. Yeah, yeah. Don't fuck up, bitch. Whatever. Oh. Oh. Like, you, like, you guys were cheating, but you were cheating. Oh, oh, oh. But you were cheating. Oh, oh, oh. You were cheating. Oh, oh, oh. We'll see you later. I can't even see you. Stop yelling. There ain't no for him. Calm your asses. Calm your asses. Don't fuck up. 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 Don't f
Listen, well, if that's you, fine. Yeah. Say one thing. We still got another but task. Listen, but listen, hey, I'm not hey. playing tasks with these people when they're going to cheat. That's and just go to the task. Guys, guys, guys. Hey, guys, guys. You're a poor sport. That's all it is. No, shut up. Shut up. You're cheating. You're cheating. Clap, clap, clap. See you later. Bye. You said it was cheating. How did you guys all you look at my blog? What? Guys, what? What? Hey, shut up. My blog. Shut up. Guys, quiet. I saw her look at my blog. Quiet. It's nothing. Okay, okay. No, three come back. Three and wise. No, fuck you too. We got one more task left. There's gonna be no oh. more cheating. Well, when Jordo threw the brick and it hit her bottom, <laughs> um, I thought it was hilarious, but she turned around and gave me a carry look. And it wasn't it was me. Like, I'm still holding my block, so I don't know why she came all up in my face. Okay, so nobody wants to say anything now, right? You guys, you still want to be on the show? Obviously, I have my like, brick. Don't even look at me. Listen, you want to be on your you? fucking whack ass show? They're lame. They're lame. Just Bye. Bye, Bye Felicia. Fine. Go guys. home, Roger. You guys. I did. I did throw a brick at Bree, and I got it right on the behind, and it's like smacked it right back. So what is exactly that saying? I feel like she should really get some eyes in the back of her head like I do, because I know exactly what's going on when my back's turned. So if she was going to charge at the wrong one, bitch sit down. Me and Wise walked off because I feel like it was rigged. I feel like the other contestants were cheating. From the beginning, they've been ganging up on me or Wise, and I just was fed up with it. I don't want to be involved in something with people where I was cheating. It's not fair. I feel like the other contestants have an advantage already over me, seeing that they're outgoing, and now this, now they're cheating. That was ridiculous. If you want to be in this competition and you want to actually, like, win, then you have to stay in it. You can't just give up when the going gets tough, because that's what this is all about. It's going to get tough, and it's going to get harder, and if they can't handle it, then they should just leave now. I just feel like they just have sour, sour puss attitudes, and it's unacceptable. We all were there sweating and being hot together, so there's no reason to pull a diva move and just like get the heck out of here, unless you want competition. Okay, wait, Bree, Wise, wait up, wait up. Okay, listen. Anymore. What do you mean you don't want to do this want anymore? Because it's whack. Okay, hold on. Stop walking first. You guys have been listen. whack since day one. Okay. This is the first thing, episode. Like, I don't need to be on a show with black people. Like I can do better than that. Okay, so. this is what you I signed up for. Day. You guys have signed a contract. We, they're, they're cheating. We've already done so much by even being with them. Like, okay. this is embarrassing enough. Listen, Stupid. you guys have signed a contract. You have to go through this show. Listen. They're cheating. No. I'm signed to we signed. Yeah, they may be cheating. That's no, not fair, listen. Though. They may be cheating, but we didn't know you guys knew each other. Okay. So now you gotta go through with this. The next task is gonna be legit, no cheating whatsoever. They shouldn't and, be cheating okay. in the first place. Like, this is dumb. Like, even just, we weren't cheating. We could have sent each other exactly. the answer. Yeah. We didn't we even do that. Okay. We were so, trying to play this fair. This is just part of the show. We're questions. We don't even know about Listen, each other. Listen, so this make a difference. is just part of the show. You gotta roll with the punches. So come on back. We'll make it all, we'll make it all good. And I can't promise you, but that, that's, just the way, that, that's just the way things happen. Listen, you guys got a chance to win twenty five hundred dollars. Win you, it or like no, cheat out. If of you it, win it, what? if you win it, it benefits rigged, him. Rigged, if he wins rigged. it, it benefits you because you guys are a package deal, right? It's rigged. You might think it's rigged, but you guys shouldn't have known each other coming into this competition. So you know no, what? That These the are just the problems. These are just the problems. We're gonna have to face them. Okay, come on back. Come on back. We're, let's do the next task. Come on. Come on. Okay, now that everyone is stripped down, we need to have a bit more fun. It's a hot day and hot days call for ice cream. Now keeping with this week's theme of trivia, each contestant will be paired up. They will have 10 seconds to answer a question. You've got ice cream, chocolate sauce, whipped cream, sprinkles, and of course, cherries. Your goal is to build a human Sunday on each other. And the person who builds their Sunday the quickest is gonna win the competition. Now, Wise and Bree, because of what happened in the first task, you guys will be paired together. I hope you're okay with that. Jordo and Cookie, you guys are together. And Cash, because you messed up in the first task, you are on your own. It's gonna be sweet and messy. Let's get started. First question. When was Elvis's first ever concert? Was it A, 1954, B, 1964, or C, the year 2000? The correct answer is A, 1954. Next question. Which is the largest ocean? A. Pacific, B. Atlantic, or C. Arctic? And the correct answer is A. Pacific. Don't trip. We can't trip on this. There's no Wow, I guess they've never made a Sunday. Anybody else? 
guys were the ones that don't know how big an ocean is. Like, not only are you guys weird, like you're all dumb as fuck. It's probably as big as your mouth. Next question. What language has the most words? Is it A, English, B, French, or C, Spanish? And the correct answer is A, English. That's so gross. Let's do it. <laughs> hey, Ooh. shut up. No one asked you. Thank you. We're done. <laughs> it was supposed to be a hard, but... They named yeah, I knew they were secretly like in love or something. <laughs> Next question. How many legs does a spider have? A, 8, B, 12, or C, 100? All right, you guys all got that question right, so you get to add one topping onto your body for your human Sunday. Yay, Good. get a topping! I know spiders because I hate them! Pop me, baby, just flick ice cream at you. <laughs> Second task was pretty disgusting. I've never been so sticky in my life, and I wouldn't really want to do that again. <laughs> so hot. So hot. Thanks, I just want to. I just want to mess your hair up, like really bad. I dare you. Dare you. It's actually fucking good. I'm fucking. <laughs> Chordo. Chordo is just fucked, man. Like he's like. He's still fixing his hair, I think. Like, I don't know. I don't know about that guy. What are we doing here? Not the first time white shit enters the mouth. Oh. Well, he likes it in the mouth. Obviously. <laughs> I don't know who you think you are, though. Like, really? Like, really? Did we want to hear from the peanut gallery? Did we ask for an the opinion? Shut up. <laughs> Who's the peanut gallery now? You guys, don't stop. Don't be doing that to me. Sorry. Is he getting the star sprinkle? He ain't no damn star. <laughs> More of a star than you are. Next question. Who sang, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas? Was it A, Frank Sinatra, B, Bing Crosby, or C, Michael Buble? The correct answer is B, Bing Crosby. Ooh, that feels nice. Oh, I think it's done. Oh, no, it's back. Oh, what the um, fuck? It's, it's having a <laughs> bad effect right it's now. squirting. <laughs> the only time I felt uncomfortable in the task was when we were just sticky. And like, I hate the heat, so like that was the only time. Like, just literally feeling uncomfortable, melting, dying, you know. I'll do your stomach, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we good, we good. Oh, that was so horrible. Throw in his face. Eat that. I guess you won. Oh, of course you won. Why is you built your human Sunday? You're the first person to advance in this task. Finishing in the top two for both tasks was, it felt good, but to be honest, I expected it, so I'm not really surprised over that. What's the smallest country in the world? Is it A, Monaco, B, Vatican City, or C, Nehru? And the correct answer is B, Vatican City. All right, next question. What is the first letter on a typewriter? Is it A, L, B, N, or C, Q? And the correct answer is C, Q. Cash Mac, you're the second person to build the human Sunday. You will also advance in this task. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I don't even think I got a chair. No, you got juice. 
I think at the end of the day, before the show's over, somebody's gonna somebody's gonna hit cash back. Jerry I think everybody's top. pretty much fed up with his cockiness and the way he is. Good. Did you pour that all over your damn head? Uh. Are you serious okay. right now? <gasps> what? What? What did I miss? Are you fucking kidding me? I blinked for a second and shit. Buddy's bleeding. What is the problem anyway? Organs. Oh. Buddy's bleeding and organs are happening at the end. I threw sprinkles. I didn't throw this. Sprinkles are dry. Who put them off? What the fuck is this? Don't touch me. I'm not stepping in again, bitches. Give me a hug. Okay, you guys. Oh, oh my God! He the shirt and the chain. What? Come on. How? Hey, chill. Everybody just stop. Okay. Smooth. Whoa. Wow. Well, Calm down, guys. It's not that serious. Guys, <laughs> relax. Thank you guys. Okay. Why is with the with the shirt thing? Like, he looked at me like he was gonna start to cry. He was trying to chirp me. I threw some. I threw some of the uh, the cherry juice onto him, and so it, he had red all over his wife beater. And he's coming at me like, like acting all sad, like or or upset, like, were oh, you getting this on my shirt? Blah blah blah. Like, bro, you're wearing a wife beat tank top. Like, it's gone now. What are you gonna do? Cash Mac ripping off my shirt was really unexpected and really took me by surprise. I mean, I was just joking about all that top and bottom stuff with Jordo. I didn't really know he actually rolled that way, but. Whatever, I don't want to entertain these people anymore. I'm just here for the money now. Next question. Where is the smallest bone in the body? Is it A, nose, B, ear, or C, finger? And the correct answer is B, ear. Thank you! Woo! Woo! Got you, don't worry. Yes. Thank you so much. Hello. 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 And Jordo, you are our third person to build the human Sunday. You are now safe. That leaves us with the bottom two, Cookie and Brie. In all of the tasks, I was pretty uncomfortable. I mean, these people had me down in my bra. They had stuff all over me. I'm not comfortable with any of that, yet I still pushed myself and I still did it. Wow, what a mess that was, everyone. Wise, you seem to be the only one who shined today. Might be pretty safe to say that you're safe. What do you think? I think you're right. It's time to find out who represents the bottom two this week and who represents the top. Can Jordo and Wise please step forward? Congratulations, you two will face the top this week. And because of that, you will get an advantage in next week's episode. Thank you. That fucking time. Now it's time to find out who will be in the bottom this week. Can Bree? Cash and Cookie, please step forward. Three, you really slipped in this episode. Why do you think you should be saved? I think I should be saved because I didn't cheat. Period, point blank, and I work hard. And Cookie, what makes you think you're worthy of staying around? Well, I think I did pretty good in the first challenge, and there was no cheating going on. I don't know what she thought she saw, but it wasn't. I saw it. You didn't see anything. anything. How can I see in the sun? When my eyes are closed, what I can't see. How can you see in the sun? Like, what do you mean? Obviously, if I can't see, my eyes are closed, and like Why this, my eyes be closed. Because I can't <laughs> see. <laughs> the sun is blinding me. I can't see. So. Bree and Cash, you both got too messy this week. You will both represent the bottom two. Uh, being in the bottom sucks, obviously, like, but uh, it's, it's nothing, like, I'm not worried about it. I know, like, my people out there, they will have my back, so. I'm really upset that I'm in the bottom two with Cash. Cash is popular, he has fans. I don't, so I really need the people to go for me. I feel like if they don't, I'm definitely going to go home. Of course I feel sad, because Bree is my friend. I want her to be in this with me. I want what's good for her. But at the same time, I'm happy for her. She doesn't have to deal with these whack people anymore. Cash has just been like all up and ready for anything, basically. And now he's facing face on the ground. And Bree, well, come on. We all knew that was going to happen sooner or later, so. Actually, I'm actually surprised to see Cash back there. But hey, that's where he should be at this point. Um, Bree, 
She, she did okay, but she could have done better, and well, she voted for me, so I'm gonna give her my vote as well. Well, everyone at home, it's now up to you to save your favorite. Voting is open until Saturday, July the 5th. You can leave a comment on YouTube for who you think should be saved. Or you can use Twitter with the hashtag Crazy4Money with the number four. And remember, everyone who votes is automatically entered to win a prize. This week's prize is an Xbox One. I'm Prash Naikwadi, and we'll see you next week on another outrageous episode of Crazy For Money. I think what went wrong today was I was just overanalyzing the questions too much. I tried my hardest. I sucked, and of course, other castmates were cheating. I did my best. I feel like I should still be here because for me, this is a challenge. All of these activities are a challenge. I'm shy. I work hard. I'm here to grow and win the money, so I believe I should have a chance to stay. If you'd like to see me stay, please vote on this video right down there in the comment box, hashtag Brie, and also vote on Twitter, hashtag Brie, hashtag crazy for money with the number four. All right, so what did I do wrong? I don't think I did really anything wrong. Like, it's up to the viewers to pick and choose who they want to continue on in the competition, and I, I feel like I have a lot of support out there that can push me on in this competition because I'm going to win the money. Uh, so you vote on Twitter or YouTube uh, by leaving a comment or posting the tweet with the hashtag crazy for money, hashtag cash Mac. Congratulations to last week's winner of the e-bike. Thank you for voting.